Well, hi there. Today we are going to be drawing a bear sleeping in his cave because that's what bears do in the winter. They hibernate. So we're going to start by using a brown marker. If you don't have a brown marker, that's fine. You can use a pencil crayon or a brown crayon, whatever you have. All right, so we're going to start with the brown. We're going to start with his head. And as you can see, I've got my page laid out lengthwise, not up tall, but out to the side. So we're going to put our bear kind of in the middle, a little bit lower, not quite middle. And we're going to start with his head. So we are going to make it a circle. And then we're going to add the ears. And maybe even a little... Uh, curved line inside the ears. Now his eyes are not open because he's sleeping, so they're not going to be circles. So watch carefully as I do curved lines to make him look like he's asleep. Then you're going to do your V for the nose and then come across like that. And they're just going to give him a, just a little line there because he is fast asleep. Now we're going to move on to his paw. So we're going to start at the bottom of the head and do a curved line up to the side of his head. Watch me, this is the tricky part. So curve and then attach to the head. And now we're going to do the other one. And we're going to go the opposite direction, a curve line, but we're going to go straight up there. Now to do his body, we're going to go about right here and we're going to go down, over, up, around, up to his far ear, just like that. We'll give him some little claws there. Okay, so there's our bear and he is fast asleep. Next, I'm going to get my blue marker out, and I'm going to do a line straight across the page, and it's going to be a wavy line. And we're using the blue to show the snow, because in the wintertime there's lots of snow, and that's when he sleeps. So we're going to leave the snow until we'll a little bit later, we're going to leave it at that, and then we're going to get our black marker out and do the cave. So we're going to start down here on one side, and we're going to go up and around our sleeping bear and finish on the other side. Okay, now we're going to do another line to finish off the top of the cave. We're going to start over here. We're going to go up, over, and we're going to finish on the other side. A nice big cave. There we go. And I think we're going to put, we're going to put a tree in the background. Now you can make your tree any way you want, but I'm going to do an evergreen tree because those are the trees that you see in the winter time that are green. So I'm going to start way up high here and I'm going to go down and then I'm going to zigzag to the other side and then back up so it kind of looks like a triangle. And then I'm going to go over here and do zigzag and then connect it up to the top part. And this one's just going to go right to my cave. I don't want my tree to be in front of my cave, so I'm not going to draw through it. I'm going to stop there because this tree is going to be behind it. And so there are parts of the tree that you can't see, so you have to stop the drawing right there at the cave. And so I'll do a little bit more. 
and well, we could do one more. That's good. Let's do one up here. Same thing. So you're doing that triangle and zigzag across. And then we're going to go down and out and zigzag across and back up, out, zigzag across or until you get to your cave. So we're going to just kind of finish that off there. Over, zigzag, and done. Great. So we're all done with the drawing part. Now what's left is coloring. So I'm going to use my crayons to color. And I'm going to do my brown for my bear. Color him nice and dark. Color his paws, his whole body. Okay, and then you're going to take your black and you're going to color inside the cave. It's really dark inside that cave. So we need to make it nice and dark so that he can sleep all winter. So when you're coloring, be careful to go around the bear with your black so you don't turn the, black, the bear black because he's already brown. So take your time coloring around him. Be careful and do your best. There we go. So we've got our bear inside the dark, dark cave. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to color the cave gray. And that'll take a while. So I'm going to pause the video. And then I'm going to color the tree green with my crayon. So you color, I'll color, and I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, so I have finished my coloring of my cave and my tree. And if you've not paused the video to color, I would suggest you do that now. Um, when you look at my coloring of the cave, it kind of looks a little bit brown on the video, but it's actually a gray. So when you draw it, it should look, it should be a gray. But if you don't have a gray, you can use a brown instead. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to color just a little bit of some blue um, on the bottom here where the snow is. So, so we know that snow is white, so we don't really need to color the whole thing blue. But we're going to put just some lines. I'm going to color a little bit of the top here. But we're going to do some wavy lines down here just to make it look kind of snowy and hilly just to give it a little bit more of something and I think that looks really nice now you can also take your blue mark your blue crayon and you can color the sky all around you can do that you can add a sun but I'm going to stop the video here and um, just take a look at the cute sleepy bear hibernating in his cave. Thanks for drawing with me.